Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. I'm Exterminator, and let get, let's get back to the game here. So, what on earth are these? Dear Lord. Box Factory. Um, sir, that is very contradictory to your name, seeing as you're a box factory and you have a round container. Hmm. I feel like we're being cheated. Something very suspicious. So these, 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 these dudes are, these guys are full. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. These guys are full. So what, let's look at our pollution anyways. Where is our pollution? Pollution. Oh, yum. Oh, goody. Look at all that pollution. Good thing I didn't zone. Well, I did zone residential like right there. Whoops. And over here. Oh, dear Lord. Well, no, I think we're okay. So... I'm wondering if someone can tell me in the comments if I empty this if I say empty will it empty it into incinerators or will it just bring it to a different dump because that would be kind of nice to know I guess we find out huh let's go ahead and find out empty thank you and maybe we should just add some more incinerators it could never hurt let's see what they actually say said just collecting garbage why not burn it and turn it into electricity through the power of steam engines the incinerator plant burns garbage to create electricity for the city interesting capacity garbage truck capacity processing rate power output 12 bagel holy wow holy mackerel that's really that's really nice that's <laughs> quite respectable i mean that's like it's more than a normal one of these dudes, speaking of which. We're doing okay. And what did I... Did I see... I see I saw abandoned buildings. Um, <clears throat> does it say why? It doesn't. I don't see anything about not enough workers. Now, we do have a huge demand for industrial. And maybe it's time to put down a university. We don't have one, and we need a university to work in offices, I believe. And we do have people ready. So, this is a asset, the old university, which I believe looks quite cool. If we put it here, this is actually very good coverage. Is there anything there that is important? Not particularly. I can kill these power lines, too. It's probably going to create some major traffic problems. It's probably a horrible idea. But, I mean, come on. That looks... Wow, the game's still paused. That looks amazing. I love it. I love it. Okay, so... Some people left because, of course, I bulldozed their house with them in it. That would suck. I hear, like, upgrade things, like, out the game. These are surprisingly difficult to click on. Okay, I can't delete that one, but that should help a ton. And we reached 10,000, which is really nice. And yeah, so more industry and commercial, apparently. So, ah, you stupid ass truck. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and build more of this. I think I'm going to leave it two-way. I think that's just the best thing to do at this point. Now, having all these junctions to this road is more than likely a really bad idea. If it creates problems, though, we can just delete it and not have connections going there. Whoops. Something strange happened. Um, did I make these wrong? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and zone some more industrial. I mean, we can try offices, but I'm pretty dang sure they're going to... Um, just not they're they're gonna get abandoned because there's not highly educated enough workers Wow look at this look at this high density Stuff how upgraded already is like if we look like here It's already almost through its fourth tier Which is really impressive to me 
it might be time in the next little while to, uh, oh, whoops, of course you need water. In the next little while to do some public transportation, primarily buses and uh, subways, or re trams, whatever you want to call them. So they need workers, obviously, they need workers. One thing I'm curious about is, does the high density residential, is it like inherent to higher education people? I'm wondering. Educated. So if we look here, I mean, obviously these are gonna be less because these are smaller. It seems about the same ratio. Okay, because what I didn't want to do is zone too much high density if it was inherent to high education, because then these guys definitely wouldn't have any workers. So, yeah. And again, though, this is a problem. These. I should connect up these one ways. That's what I have to do. See, because we have our services and stuff over here, and they're not going to cover this because we're going to have the same problem we had with the fire station. So what I'm going to do... Oh god, I don't want to pull those out. No. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't put one there. <laughs> I'll just put one street to connect them. I don't want to bull... Because this thing's like so... This is our really upgraded one. I don't want to bulldoze that. No. This is really interesting. Commercial. Residential. Did I really zone residential and commercial right next to each other? Huh. I did. Whoops. Okay, so... I still don't know if these one ways are gonna work, but keep doing it until it doesn't work, huh? See, the problem is, what, what is this? This must be one way, because highways don't have pretty little, pretty little thingies, so. I guess let's just extend this. How far? Did we just go, like, half? Nope, that's too close. This is... I wish you could draw them the other direct. Oh, I can draw them the other direction. Haha! -ha! Because... With our new tool... What we do... Is we go upgrade... Boom! I have to do it to each section, which is slightly unfortunate, but perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love that, that they, um, did that. Okay, so, I guess, yeah, just keep doing one ways until they don't work. Ooh, man. Whew. Feel bad for anybody who decides to build a house there. So we have low density there. Let's go ahead and put some high density here. And I'm actually going to use the Marque tool. And I'm going to leave some room. Because there's different size. One thing that's so cool is there's different size buildings that can pop up for each thing. Like for each um, amount of tiles you left open. So. And yeah, I guess let's just connect these up as well. Just so we can get services over here easily. And again, water is going to be a little bit of an issue, but that's fine. And we do have demand for commercial, so where can we put some commercial? I mean, this is going to like irritate these people, but I don't see a reason why we couldn't put some commercial like right here. And right here. Actually, no, stop it. Nope. Nope. Nope, you can't build here. Nope. <laughs> Let's go high density. Let's try to match up the uh, high density, like, commercial and it, and residential together. Damn it all to hell. Okay. Uh, so, again, we have a few little traffic issues. So, yeah, these people are all abandoned because I would assume no workers. Probably not enough non-educated workers. 
So that could be a little bit of a problem. But we are growing, so that's nice. And let's see, are there any other... I really wish I got the uh, Paradox Plaza thing. That would have been really cool. Did I get more of these? Plaza with picnic tables. Yeah, let's go ahead and plot some of these down here. Interestingly enough, even though there's a park here that has a range that's that big, it like doesn't even affect these. It's one thing I've noticed. It's kind of weird about the game. See, now that one seems to do quite well. What? Oh, fine. Screw you. Uh, <laughs> that one's far too big. So is that one. And that one. This one would work. Perfect. And even the dudes right next to it don't. I wonder if that has something to do with the one ways. And as you can see, we're losing population because I just killed a whole ton of high rises. Okay, so what does this mean? What, is, what does this icon mean? Too few services. Okay, maybe that's why they're abandoned. Well, you should be good on that. As well as that. Police. I see. What if we put a police station here? Perfect. Oh, that should help. And I believe we did put... Did we not put schools in here? Sure we did. Yeah, we did. I guess it wouldn't hurt to put some more. This is where all the residential is, so... So it's already occupied by what? Was there a park? Oh, right, so there's a park there. I assume that was residential. Idiot. No, it wasn't. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Relocation for you, sir. Ah, sh man. Okay, so... Do we need a high school as well? We're about to. We are about to be in need of a high school. I may not be putting these in the best place, but whatever. Need workers. Okay, well... Wow, so much demand. So much demand for residential. This is kind of... Kind of nuts. Not close enough still? Okay. Oh yeah, these dudes are kind of on a hill. Gee, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> At least put a post there. Ooh, man. Imagine driving this in the winter with, like, snow and ice. Ooh. That would be not a fun drive. Screech around this corner, hauling ass up this hill, coming down this hill. <laughs> oh god, that'd be scary, because if you come down here, I don't think it, like, snows in this type of map. Not that it snows in the game, but hypothetically, if you come down here, oh goodness. You would, like, come down here and slam on your brakes and be like, oh shit. And then you fly into the ocean, which would be cold as hell. God, this... Look, like, look at the... Like, just, like, look at this game. Like, I... Oh, my God. This is so pretty. For some reason, I don't... It feels laggy. It shouldn't be. I should get the free camera mod. It's so... I love that this is built on a hill. I didn't really know it was until I built it. And with all these tree-lined streets... These big bites. Like, holy God. This corporation is taking over everything. It's ridiculous. <laughs> nice little, like, jacuzzi tub. God, this is so awesome. I know I've said that m multiple times, but I'm going to keep saying it. Because this is unbelievable. Wow. So, like, these guys are almost... Well, they're not. Some of those guys are almost fully upgraded. Like, where was this guy? Was this guy. He is almost fully upgraded. If we, uh... Boom. There we go. Only one more upgrade after that, guys. That is really weird. That is really weird. When he upgrades in level, it gets smaller? That's weird. The fuck? 
Okay, so, <laughs> all right, I think I found a uh, mistake in the game. This is a residential building, as you can see right here, the foggy residence, right? This one, I just clicked on it, right? It is a restaurant. Although, actually, I could, never mind. This is actually one of those things I have where I live, where it's a restaurant on the bottom and then apartment buildings on the top, so I stand corrected. Yeah. But it's weird, the building got smaller. Like, if we look at this... Wow, so the bigger buildings hold less people. I guess it's like, as they upgrade, they just, like, infinitely get space inside. Some type of magic. And... Yeah, we can see we are having some traffic problems. And it's mostly caused due to this light. Oh, man, see, look. Since there's a light here, that's creating some problems. Creating some major problems. What if I don't put a light here? What if I... If I do this, is this gonna like break everything? See, they use all lanes though, which I don't think I wanna undo. I'll let it be for a little bit, but... Let's see here. I think I'm actually gonna call this an episode. It's a little shorter one. Um, because I actually have to go in a minute, but I did want to get another episode done. So, I mean, we are expanding quite nicely. Next time, I think we're going to buy another area. And we do have some abandoned buildings, probably due to no workers. As you can see, we have some. So, actually, we should expand residential here next time. That would be probably a good idea. Where the hell is this abandoned building then, huh? What the hell, man? There's no abandoned building here. Whatever. Okay, so... Next time we will expand residential, probably over in this area somewhere. Make them live next to the dirty industrial buildings, but for now, that's going to be it, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe. It really helps out, but until next time, look forward to seeing you all, and take care.